Greetings and welcome. Today I am in Rhino Linux. This is a fairly new distro. It was released on August the 8th. So I'm a little late to the party, but for me that's pretty normal. It comes pre-installed with NeoFetch, so let's take a look at it now. From here you can see it's running its own unique desktop environment called Unicorn. So what Unicorn is, is XFCE as the base and the developers have added some custom apps on top of it to give it a more modern look and feel while still maintaining the efficiency and stability that XFCE is known for. From first boot it actually uses only about 500 megs of RAM on this computer which is very low for a modern desktop environment these days. You may have noticed that purple is a big part of the color scheme and for backgrounds they have added a couple more custom wallpapers and boy do they love the color purple. I do like the new logo that they made but I think I'm going to use my own wallpaper which I've copied over. Let's choose this one for now. Although Rhino Linux is based on Ubuntu, it does not use packages from the stable branch for its space. Instead, it uses packages from the testing branch and is a rolling release model. Rhino Linux also uses Packstall as part of its software repository. And these are customized scripts that are used to compile apps from source. And in that respect, they can be thought of as similar to packages from the AUR, but instead these are made for Ubuntu. Another unique feature is Rhino package or Rhino-PKG. This is not a new package installer, but rather a wrapper script that is used to install a variety of apps from sources such as apt, snaps, flat packs, and also packages made with packstall scripts. Another highlight of Rhino Linux are the Unicorn apps. First, you have a very nice and minimal run launcher. I will search for appearance. And from here, you have a good selection of GTK themes. I will choose this theme here. Also, there are a lot of icon themes that come pre-installed and I rather like this humanity theme, so I'm going to choose that one. Next, there is a tool called Application Grid. When I launch it, you'll notice that it looks a lot like the GNOME menu, and I like this tool a lot. You also have a new Workspace Switcher tool that gives you a new way of switching between desktops. In my opinion, however, I prefer the old way. This new method is a tad slower and it is not as practical for me in everyday use. There is also a system tool which displays some of your PC's specifications in a nice graphical interface. And there's a big button on the bottom that allows you to update your system. Now that I've covered some of the highlights, I want to go over some issues that stand out for me after trying out this distro. For one, although the icons in the Plank Dock are aesthetically pleasing, what happens if I drag out some of the icons from the dock? How do I get the application grid back? This would be an issue for those who don't know how. Luckily, I figured it out and will walk you through the process. First. From the terminal, you need to enter the command sudo thunar slash user slash share slash applications. Navigate this folder and look for the purple icons. From here, you need to edit the .desktop files and allow them to be shown in XFCE. Do this for all of the needed .desktop files. After this is done, Proceed to Panel, Panel Preferences, Items, and add in the Whisker menu to your panel. Yes, the Whisker menu does come pre-installed, they just never showed it in Rhino Linux. So, 
From the whisker menu, you can drag the items back into the plank dock. But in order to make it even more foolproof, I would just add those icons to the panel itself. Rhino Linux brings with it a lot of innovative ideas, turning Ubuntu into a rolling release, using Packstall to compile apps from source, having Rhino package as an all-in-one wrapper to handle installs from the terminal. But definitely the most noticeable change, at least from first glance, are the unicorn desktop tools. These have been added to give XFCE a more modern and elegant look and feel. And I especially like the new application grid tool. And although this distro was designed for developers in mind, if you take the time to perform the tweaks that I've shown you here, you may find that Rhino Linux is user friendly enough for your needs. I personally have some doubts on how stable this rolling release version of Ubuntu will be, but only time will tell. This concludes today's episode. I hope you found this video entertaining and informative. Please don't forget to give it a like. But until next time, take care, everybody.